So, hey guys, Chelsea here. So for the first time, I beat them Duffy 2 with a pure chain captain team. It might so not sound like a big deal, but there's a huge roadblock to that, which Ross Shandy helps with me with. Basically, there's a stage where you have to have a chain lock or you get the 99 turn low chain lock for the rest of the content. But I can use Sonja there. I get a very good chain boundary. So that counts as chain lock, but I can still go higher chain. And Sanji also helps a lot with removing death up and changing block corpse for final stage. I also use this very bad old free to play Luffy, just a 1.3 times attack booster for fighter. But that's not why I use him. I use Luffy mainly for his paralysis reduction. One turn essential for Duffy 2. He also makes quick matching for fighters, which turned out to be really useful. And the special was pretty good as well for this particular content. Anyway, let's jump into it. We're doing a hybrid chain captain. I think it's pretty funny that we have only three proper chain captains in the game. It's we 2 Sanji and we one Rayleigh, which I have here, and we 2 Mihawk. But somehow Rayleigh is able to hybrid with both Sanji and Mihawk since Rayleigh is both fighter and slasher. So yeah, this team is very tight in terms of Damage might even be some orb RNG, but it's pretty minor. But yeah, I even had to feed a one deposit to Luffy because I lacked literally a sliver of damage on one single stage. But once again, that post to the team worked very well. Uh, we're not even going to stall that much, just a little bit on the classic stage eight. Uh, but yeah. I'm just happy this team worked at all. This is something I wanted to do for a long time, but uh, back then, no chain caps had level limit break. Now they have it, and we also got new options. So when I decided to do it, I felt pretty confident that it will be possible. And the team turned out to be even better than I hoped. So that's nice. And one very cool thing is that usually you need quite a bit of buffs to take out this stage. But we are literally going to be carried only with Luffy's special. Luffy has the support ace. This will remove the death up. And we also get that mighty 1.3 times attack boost. But that is enough. And we actually get a bit of uh, resistance reduction as well. 10% for fighters. And yeah, Boa just need a max investment here to be able to ensure that kill. I say this always when I use chain captains teams because most people have never used them. But their damage output is more than you would expect. Especially the unit hitting last will do incredible damage most of the time. And you can beat some stages with less buff than you usually expect. But obviously they hate stages with more than one enemy. Then you might need a bit more buffs than you usually do. And yeah, this stage was the one that was a bit too tight. But with level 105 Luffy, that worked out. And yeah, this is the stage where we need a chain lock. If you don't have a chain lock when you defeat Diamante, you will get like 99 turns of like a 1.5 time chain lock, something like that. Very low at least. I use Sanji first to remove the... A decrease chain, we don't want that BS, so to say. Now we use Sanji, get the full board of recovery orbs. I even move into captain, this is a chain captain team, so I won't keep him there. But might as well get that uh, chain boost as well. And this will also power up both Sanji and Boa, since they are the only free spirit units for the rest of the battle. I've also set up the super swap for Robin and Jinbei. I just hit a few grades just to consume the recovery orbs because why not? We do have that rush final stage, so having some extra HP is not bad at all. And yeah, Robin Super Swap will be very nice here. I also use Relic Special to get the damage I need. And yeah, I wanted to try and keep Sunny Psy Orb since that's pretty useful since we can get the Resistance reduction and we can't swap to get a matching orb on him. So I try and hit with Sanji last to see if it works out and luckily it did. So 
that made the team even better made the next stage and stage nine a lot more consistent but yeah i got swap robin jimbe here i've saved her special for this remove the damage reduction they also do minus two cd which is really good helps us get back Relic, for example which we want for final stage to get an ore boost and yeah i didn't really plan honestly i didn't plan too much for the final two stages like I made a plan for up until this stage and I was like, let's see how I do the final stages. But once I made it there, it was very obvious and it worked out very well. And it's funny that this Luffy with his 1.3 times attack boost turned out to be such an essential unit. Like without his damage, we couldn't have killed two stages, but with it, we can kill and also we get a quick unit. We get the matching horse price reduction, like it's not often you can have units as bad as this and make them irreplaceable on a team. So I always take that. He's made to work with an old ace unit. So if you use the Luffy and Ace together, you get a two times attack and war boost basically. Don't even know what they went they were released on. I didn't play back then. But yeah, don't need to do any more stalling here, so we can just take him out. I even managed to save the Sanji Cyorb again, so we can get some resistance reduction on Diamante. Uh, it's part of Sanji's level limit break, by the way. If you tap on him with a Psy and Recovery Orb, you apply minus 10 Fighter Resistance. Just a nice little bonus. I use Boy here to remove Special Bind, and then Luffy just to get an attack boost. I should have swapped Jinbei before using Boa special, but I figured I have enough damage, so let's just go for it. And as you see, that was a pretty accurate assessment. That was a very easy kill. And yeah, final stage. And I was a bit, I won't say worried, but I was curious about my damage here since I only have one strength unit. I have no color affinity and chain captains don't like facing more than one unit. But obviously, we do have that rush, which will make a big difference here. So no, no need to swap anymore. I do use Sanya here to get an attack boost. And since I have a recovery orb, I also get a chain multiply boost. I also remove that chain boundary, which doesn't really matter. We will easily reach those numbers anyway. Like chain boundaries are not important for chain captains. It's the least important chain buff and often it can hinder the chain captain. So yeah, as you see, we're going to get some really good chain thanks to the rush. So you basically start hitting at 19 times sh chain, just insane. I even hold back to kill with Boa. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.